hi everyone welcome in this video we're going to talk about how do we get the historical data from the fires api um, the difference between market data and historical data is that when we're talking about market data we're talking about live prices so for example the current price of sbi and today right now is about 769.55 or 769.85 right so that's that's the ltp or that's the market data which we've already seen how we can get but what if I want to get, let's say, last uh, five days of data and the OHLC. So I want to find what is the open, high, low, close of all of these candles. For that, I will have to use something called the historical data. To do that, I am showing you a documentation page. Again, on the left side, once you click on data API, click on history. And once you do that, you will be shown this part. So on the right side, again, you can click C sharp and you get the entire code and the main function is given here which is the get stock history so essentially we have to give some inputs so firstly we have to give the stock for which we want to get the data for then there is something called the resolution resolution means what time frame we are looking for so like we know um, we can choose different time frames from here so essentially whatever time frame that we can choose from here you can also put it so in case you want to put a daily time frame you will have to put d um, in case you want to put seconds, you have to put 5s, 10s, 15s. So now you will get data in seconds format. Or if you're looking for normal minute candles, you will get 1, 2, 3, 5 and so on and so forth. So I'll show you how that can be done. Then you will have to put the time. Um, there are two methods of putting the time. I will be showing you the more easier method, which is putting it in the format of YYYY MMDD. To do that, we will put the date format as one and then we can put the from date in the to date. And uh, finally, if you are looking for futures and options, you'll have to put the continuous flag as one. And once you do that, you will get all the results. So basically, you'll get the date time, the open, high, low, close and the volumes. So let us see how it works. So again, um, in the program, let me. So the, this is the historical data and this is our main function. So again, I have already done the login. So I'm reading the client ID and the access token. And then I'm going to call this function uh, the um, t dot get stock history this is what I'm calling and I've basically put all the inputs here so let's say I want to get the data for SBIN on a one minute time frame uh, I don't really need this uh, uh, continuous flag I am putting the sorry the date format is not time frame date format basically means the whether I want to put it in epoch value or whether I want to put it in uh, the normal YYYY MMDD. So I want to put it in YYYY MMDD. So that's the format here. This is the resolution five minutes. And let's say I want to get for two days of data. So this is 4th April 2025 and 7th April 2025. Please note that 5th and 6th was a holiday. It was a Saturday, Sunday. And then I'm just going to call this get stock history. And this is the same code that I've just copied from the uh, documentation page. But I've done one more thing. I have also created a separate code to add to csv to save to csv so whatever data that we'll get we will be able to save it to a csv file also and essentially it's fairly easy once we get the data i will read each row and i will just uh, extract the values and i will paste them in the csv so with that let's run the code okay so we have run the code uh, it says the stock has data has been saved and you can clearly see the data that we are getting so we are getting the epoch value which is the date time the open high low close and the volume and if you want to view it you can also view it from the csv file so let's open the csv file now which is the stock history and you can clearly see the 9-15, 4th April, 9-20, 4th April, the open high rule close and all the data. So this is how we can get all the data and we are getting it till 7th of April. The last candle is 3.25 because all, always remember that the time will be shown of the opening candle. So let's check whether this is correct or not. So or uh, we can just open fires and let's check on a five minute time frame. So this is the last candle. What was the opening price? So the opening price was 748.55. You can see here then the high was 749.75 it is correct the low is 748.1 and the closing price is 749 as you can see here and the total volume we can also add the volume and you will see that the volumes are also right so we can clearly see that we are getting the correct data now let's do some changes i'm going to change the format let's say i i do it till today so i'm doing it till 8th of april which is today and let's check 
whether we get the live data or not. So now I've put 8th April, which is today's data. I'm going to run it again. So I'm just running the code again. It has stopped running. Let's see what is updated value. So now you can see that I've got some extra data here, which is 8th April data. Now, since I'm running this code at 9.39, the current time is 9.39 in the morning, you can see that we are getting the data till 9.35, which is the current candle, which is the current candle. Obviously, this value can change once the candle closes. So you can clearly see that we can keep getting the live data, essentially whatever is being shown on the FIRES app very easily using the backend code also. Now, before we end the, uh, this video, let me show you for some other time frame also. So let's say I want to do it some on some other time frame, let's say 15 minutes. So I just have to change the resolution. I'll just run it again. And now if we come here, you will see now that we have data for every 15 minutes, 9.15, 9.30, 9.45, 10 o'clock. So now we have every 15 minutes data. And like I said, we can also go ahead and make even smaller time frames. So let's say we want to do it five seconds or 10 seconds. That's also possible um, because you can read what are all the different uh, resolutions. Those are possible and we can do that. So that's how we will be using the historical data. We will be needing this when we do our back testing. So I will be using this historical data again during the back testing video. Thank you for joining. I will.